Hello, in this video we are going to review Pinchoff syndrome related to use of central vascular devices. Catherine Pinchoff syndrome is a significant and often unrecognized complication. It occurs when central vascular access device enters the costoclavicular space medial to the subclavian vein and is positioned outside the lumen of the subclavian vein in the narrow area bound by clavicle, first rib, and costoclavicular ligament. Catheter compression causes intermittent or permanent catheter obstruction and, because of the scissoring effect, can result in catheter tearing, transection, and catheter embolism. Most often to the right heart or pulmonary artery. Pinchoff syndrome may be preceded by a finding of Pinchoff sign on the chest X-ray films, in which it is visible that the catheter is indented as it passes beneath the clavicle. Pinchoff syndrome is significantly associated with intraclavicular approach of implantation, particularly when catheter is placed more medial, closer to the center. Pinchoff syndrome may occur with implanted ports or non-tunneled or subcutaneously tunneled central vascular access devices inserted via subclavian vein. Pinchoff syndrome should be suspected when there is a positional change in catheter function with neck and arm movement as the thoracic outlet widens and narrows. Signs and symptoms of Pinchoff syndrome include radiograph reveals a small indentation as the catheter passes between the clavicle and the first rib. It is consistent with Pinchoff sign. Difficulty with infusing medications. Multiple attempts of aspiration produce no blood return and severe resistance is encountered when catheter is flushed with saline. Frequent occlusion alarms, intermittent and positional occlusions, occlusion revealed by specific postural changes, such as rolling of the shoulder back or raising the arm, which open the angle of costoclavicular space. In patients in whom catheter was completely cut off internally, some patients may experience chest pain palpitations, swelling in the area of central vascular access device, or pain with catheter flushing. Catheter injection with contrast is recommended to identify any catheter leak or malposition. Important thing to mention, radiographic confirmation of the catheter with proper position of the patient during radiography are crucial. It is important to note the, that because raising the arms or shrugging, it opens the costoclavicular angle. The film should be taken with the patient upright and with arms by the sides to get accurate image of compressed catheter. Prevention Ultrasound guidance for catheter must be implemented. The use of ultrasound was associated with prevention of Pinchoff syndrome in implanted port placement. Insertion of catheter lateral to the midclavicular line decreases the risk. Pinchoff syndrome can often be avoided when the central catheter is placed more lateral or if the internal jugular approach is employed. Pinchoff syndrome can be prevented by using the internal jugular vein for access rather than subclavian vein. If the subclavian vein is used, it is preferable to access the vein lateral to midclavicular line to reduce the amount of compression on the line. When the venous access device is no longer required, it should be removed as soon as possible. Treatment 
catheter removal is generally recommended. If the tip of the catheter has embolized, it can usually be retrieved percutaneously with transvenous snare. So this concludes this video on pinch-off syndrome. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you, thank you for watching, and I wish you great success.